I like to talk about line compounds. So this is our binary eutectic, which we've seen before. You've got constituent A and constituent B and temperature is a y-axis. Got solid solution alpha, beta, and then you have your two-phase regions, alpha plus liquid, beta plus liquid, alpha plus beta. In contrast, over here, we have what's called a line compound. And what we're essentially saying is that if the solubility of B in A and A in B gets really small, these lines essentially shrink, this, this, this region essentially shrinks until it becomes a single line. In terms of our nomenclature, when you have a line compound, instead of using Greek letters, it's now customary just to use the constituent name. For example, A and B. So this line corresponds to A, this line corresponds to B. As before, anytime you have a two single phase regions, there has to be a two-phase region between them, so this is A, this is liquid, therefore we have to have an A plus liquid region, a B plus liquid region, and an A plus B region. Reading from these is exactly the same, right? Whereas here, I cool down, I draw my horizontal tie line, look at the intercepts, and then I use the inverse lever rule to determine the phase fraction. Over here in the line compound, when I cool down, I again can draw my horizontal tie line. Now on the left side, my composition is pure A, and it doesn't change as a function of temperature, but the composition of liquid does. And the important thing here also is that this is affecting the phase fraction that is present. Um, and again, you know, if you keep cooling down here, you cross into the A plus B, and you have a region of A and B, and you can use the inverse lever rule, the tie lines, to determine the phase fraction of A and the phase fraction of B.